Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing in the Untap Open League again. I am on, uh, well actually that's my opponent's list first, so I'm on uh, Golden Gun Oath. It's Oath of Druids, but the reason it's called Golden Gun is because it runs a card called Dragon's Breath. Or Dragon Breath. And, uh, yeah, let's check. Dragon Breath, there we go. Not, not the breath possessed by the dragon. Nah, anyway. Um, yeah, so it's it's a de it gives haste to a creature CMC six or greater. Uh, if they uh, if it's in the yard, then it just attaches straight to them. So Emrakul and Blightsteel Colossus get to be hasty. And Golden Gun from 007, Man with the Golden Gun, one shot kill. Actually, it's it's 007 Golden Eye, the the N64 game where it just one shot killed people. Uh, my opponent is on. Uh, this is, I guess, uh, Paradoxical Mentor. I'm seeing four Paradoxical Outcome, good old Monastery Mentor. It looks, you know, pretty... Uh, there's the Citadel. It looks pretty much like a slightly more controlling version of the combo deck. Uh, and so that's that's something to look forward to in this matchup. Let's see. Alright. I will say... Ready. Actually, I guess I should say Keep. Um, yeah, th this is a Keep. Cool, cool. Uh, today's coffee brought to you by Shinji. Shouts to Shinji. All right, cool. So I'm up. <clears throat> Caramel flavored coffee, by the way, because I'm crazy like that. I believe I should go turn one. I, I would like to do a fetch first. Assassin's Trophy. I won't be able to get it off turn two if I don't do a fetch first. Let's see. Looking at my opponent's list. Hmm. And, and this is open deck list, by the way, folks, so we know what the other's on. So I'm gonna go fetch land first. I'm gonna wait. And then pass the turn. It's a little slow. It's a lot slow. Discord, why are you going off? Okay. <laughs> One of those now live notifications, I guess. Alright, so Dark Confidant, Dank Confidant has drawn. Shout us to Dank Confidant and this silly little avatar. That's adorable. Tell me that's not adorable, folks. Thinking. Take your time. Take your time, bud. I actually wonder what my ratio looks like. I haven't played nearly as many games or as many hours. Yeah, that's a lot more even. Six draws. Okay, I've never actually drawn, so I think this is just like a... Uh, maybe like when you end the game but you don't declare a victor, perhaps? Yeah, but otherwise, that looks about right. A few more wins than losses on here. Especially early on when I was really not used to... I started playing Frontier on here. Not used to the format, not used to the UI trying to force silly, silly decks. Although, um, you know, thanks to my good friend Hogak, <laughs> I ended up going 4-0 last season, so that helps. Thanks to modern Hogak, in vintage, as you do. As you do. Oh, all the stretching. All of the stretching. Itchy nose. Ah, whatever. We're fine. What? Discord, stop. Stop. Alright. Uh, let's say... Good. Mana Crypt is good. Uh-oh. No. We're gonna go off turn one. Do it. Do it. Uh, this is just colorless mana, that's all. Oh, kitty! I'm seeing a theme here, the, the cat from Dank, and then the kitty token. Alright, so one. Uh, we're not keeping track of Storm just yet. I'm gonna quickly move over, see if, uh, let's see. Just looking through quickly, I don't see Tendrils of Agony. Or anything that cares about literal Storm count. Oh, yeah, sorry, I guess I should... No response. They are putting themselves on a bit of a clock, but it doesn't really matter, ultimately. Alright. 
There's our good friend Mox Opal. I'm gonna say, that's good. Ah ha 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 ha. Noise. Noise. Blue. Blue. Uh oh. Rut row raggy. Alright, I see went up one and down two. That's not good. What is this? Monastery mentor. Oh, okay, it made white. It made white. That makes sense. Oh boy. Well, we are an oath, but uh that's not looking good, folks. That's really not looking good. Preordain? I'm not going to get an extra turn. Fine time walk. Well, hmm. Assassin Trophy is going to be too late. It's, it's just too slow. So I guess I, if I get to live, I think I'm just supposed to force Oath here and just hope that they that I can Golden Gun them. I think that's the plan. All right, just just golden gun go. Oh yeah, sorry. My B, my B. Now I'm not worried about an attack here. They're just trying to fill as many, you know, just Xerox through as much of the deck as possible. If they can make a bunch of tokens here. Then on the next turn, then we're they're good. Depending on how many tokens they make, that'll determine how many spells they need to cast next turn. But they're going to be on three cards here, plus draw a card. And that's if they play nothing else. Uh, they do have Sensei's Divining Top, and they can use Top's ability to put it back on top of the deck so that they're guaranteed another spell next turn. So they'll have at least one trigger uh, next turn. That'll be something to look forward to. Also, because I have a fetch land out, that puts me at an odd number. Okay. Yeah, they're going to spend the, mo the money. <laughs> spend the mana on top. Spend the money. I, I don't have a point of reference anymore for how much Sensei's Divining Top is worth. You know, banned in Modern, banned in Legacy. I, I thought it was okay in Legacy, but to be fair, the Miracles was really, really strong, and... Not everyone was jealous that. Not everyone could play super quickly. Not everyone was feline long more. Shout out to both those players. Okay. UT, we're gonna think. So, I think that I actually would like to draw a land here. Ponder and Preordain, I mean, Ponder and Brainstorm care about fetches, but I don't have a choice there. I have to, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I could try, given how early it is, I could try to hit the Monastery Mentor with an Assassin's Trophy. If I can get one more... Alright. Draw. Oh! Well, okay, that, that plan is over and done with. Um, guess we're just going to go get a Trop. Or we could get a Bayou instead. Let's get a Bayou. And just hope we live. They could also just have force. That would be exactly my luck. Uh, wait a minute. Find card. Hello. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. We do need to get a trop because we have a gush in hand. We need to get a tropical island. Specifically, tropical island. Even though it'll cut me off black mana, I still need to do it. Because I can gush for force if I need, if I absolutely have to. All right. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, I just missed the click. The joy of touchpad clicks. All right, Oath, what you got? It's gonna take a lot for me to die next turn unless they find time walk. So, they know what's on top of their deck. They can try to get an activation of top end to draw something. No response. Okay. 
we're good. Again, it is unlikely that they kill me this next turn without a time walk, which they can certainly find. Uh, time walk would be fun. Fun, I tell you, fun. We also have a 1 in 3 chance of getting Dragon Breath into either Blightsteel or Emrakul. And Emrakul actually might not win us the game. Well, no, I see they have exactly 6 permanents, but that's probably not going to be the case coming this next turn. I... what is that? Tundra? Yeah, it's just Tundra. Just Tundra, that's all. Um... Thinking. Now is probably the time to gush. Alright. So we'll draw two. One. Two. And as good as those cards are, it resolves. Or where... There we go. Resolves. Alright, I have one permanent in play, folks. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I mean, if we get to live another turn, and these are the ones that can't attack, we're looking at the, the number here is the number of prowess triggers. If we get to attack next turn, what is that? Ruby. Th these weird arts are throwing me off. I get that they're the champion arts, but I was not expecting that. Alright. Yeah, might as well leave them on zero, to be honest. They're not going to get to attack this turn anyway, so might as well. And realistically, at this point, you could actually use the number here, the number of clones, for counting uh, the prowess triggers. We got to flip before. Fair enough. Tails. Safe. Oh, no, 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 no. It's it's the one you didn't call that damages you. That's fair. That's right. Oops. If you lose the flip. Yep, there we go. I'm silly. I'm so used to doing die rolls for odds and even for paper mana crypts that I just forgot how that card worked. There we go. You know, coffee may not be the thing to have when your stomach's doing flips on you. I'm fine, I'll live, but not it's not ideal. Also, I hope that they did the paradoxical outcome, whole priority, sensei's divine, or uh, no, no, it's it's top and then PO in response. That's right. Okay. Can they find time walk? If not, I only have a 1 in 3 shot of actually beating them. And even then, even then, I don't beat them if I- No, no, I don't have a 1 in 3 shot. Specifically, I need Dragon Breath into- Nope, nope, I don't- No, I don't win this. I do not win this. No, wait, I, I guess I could get like- <laughs> Imbricool into Time Walk, maybe. I could naturally draw a Time Walk. That would be, that would be fun. That'd be interesting. Jeez. Jeez. Jeez, Jay. Now, I'm gonna have the button here just in case, but pretty sure we're good. By the way, uh, so this is a 2-2 and this is a 1-1 naturally, so we're looking at 8 plus 9 right now, which means we're just about dead, actually. This is about to be a turn two mentor kill. This is going to be a mentor. Yep. That's that's actually game. Ooh, crap. Crap, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do GG. Because that's, that's actually game. They can use Paradoxical, just return their stuff, play it again, and then they have enough prowess. Nice. Alright, I, I would like to see how that would have gone. Alright. 
Look at the top, yes. It'll say 40 cards. Um, the pattern here was... Oh, just Blightsteel. Blightsteel D-Tutor. We would not have... Well, Blightsteel D-Tutor... Actually, we would have been able to get Time Walk there, because Time Walk is not one of the cards hit earlier. So then we cast Time Walk, do it again, and we'd get to... We'd have a shot at it. Ah, oh, so if we had one more turn, that's okay. Oh, you could draw... Hand on the draw. True. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, dude. Um... Hmm. I remember there's... How do I... Send 8 to the bottom. Wait, no, there's a better way to do this. Uh... There is absolutely a better way to do this. What's the trick here? Scoop deck. There we go. Scoop deck. Scoop all cards to deck. Then go to sideboard. Play another. There we go. Why are we doing it now? Not yet. Maybe he's going to seek deck. Plus, okay. Not yet. We go to sideboard. I probably should have said dank. Maybe it's on a per game, not a per match basis. Yeah, ah, uh, that's my bad. That's my bad. I shouldn't have done it that way. Okay. I'm sorry. One la Okay, so it's still counted as their win. Good, good. Scoop deck plus sideboard. Hey, there we go. Okay. There we go. So, in this matchup, let's look at the cards, look for the cards that do nothing. Which are, are few and far between, I believe. I believe. Um... Imperial Seal is slow. Karn is a must-keep. Narset, same. Jeez. We're actually already pretty well set against blue decks. Sort of the nature of how this works. I mean, we have to bring... Why are they out of order? Oh my god, this is infuriating. Well... We bring in Veil. Energy Flux is a little slow. Might still be worth it, honestly. Um... Because they can't really side out the paradoxical outcome. Let, let's take a look at their... Oh, hello. Let's take a look at their sideboard plan. Because they're not a transformational board. They're, they're continuing the same thing. In fact, they're running cards like Defense Grid, Hercules Recall. Against me, you know, they don't have Graft Digger's Cage. That's interesting. Uh, that's really, really good for us. Really good. I, I admit, I'm ignorant as to why the Blightsteel Colossus is in here. Because I don't see any Karns to go get it, nor are they making that much mana. Um... I don't know. I, I'm sure there's a reason, I just don't know what it is. Island, fair enough. Island doesn't come in against me. So Pyroblast is coming in, Defense Grid is coming in, um, Flusterstorm probably. I, I, I think they have enough dead cards, they can bring in Flusterstorm. As for me, I will be bringing in Flusterstorm, of course, as you do. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Okay, untap. No rod. Let me see if I can find room for energy flux first. Otherwise, chalice on the play is not as good on the draw. It's still fine on the draw, but you know. All right, so let's see. Assassin's trophy is a little slow, a lot slow actually. So we probably don't bring that in, or we probably take that out. I should say. Um. There's so much blowout that can happen with Force of Will. Gush feels... It feels wrong to take this out, but I really don't have a lot of islands already. We're running four Forbidden Orchard, and we run Bayou as well. So we don't have as many... And we have Library of Alexandria, and Wasteland, and Strip Mine. So we don't have as many as you might think. Imperial Seal is the worst tutor, so that comes out. I'd still like to keep the Time Machine combo in. They can't run Null Rod or anything like that. And then we just have to find some more space, and it probably goes to the two worst cantrips. 
preordained times two. Um, Tinker's Tinker's still good. Wasteland and Strip Mine are still fine. They hit an academy, albeit rather light. Take out two preordains. Bring in Energy Flux and take out another preordain. So we are going all in on the hate for this coming matchup. We are absolutely going all in on him. And shuffled. Good, 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 good. Okay. I'm still gonna do it. There we go, there we go. Oh, it shuffled me twice. That'll work. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, but we, we do have the mana. Eventually we'll have the mana. We just don't have anything to spend it on yet. We finally get channel, and we don't have anything to spend it on. Okay, this is probably supposed to be an auto-shove, actually. Um, I don't have any of my hate pieces. So we're going to mulligan this. We're going to do one mulligan, start off. It's just, I'm not going anywhere from here. Um, I could just go to the point, mulligan, checking top just, just to see. You know, the thing you're not supposed to do. It doesn't really matter because I had fetch lands. Well, geez. Channel Karn. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's Mulligan? There we are. Draw 10. Nope, 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 nope. That's not what we meant to do. That's not what we're meaning to do. They didn't say keep. Yeah, they're, they're thinking. Okay. Cool. Let's try this again. Mulligan. Yes. All right. Here we go. Whenever it decides it's ready. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, there it goes. Okay, um... We still don't have any hate pieces, but we have turn one oath and a forbidden orchard. We have to keep it. Yeah, and we even get to put the Emrakul on the bottom. So we're guaranteed to, uh... We have a one. We can either find Blightsteel Dragon Breath or Dragon Breath Blightsteel. Keep. This looks okay. This looks okay. It's still possible that we lose to, like, say, just a Force of Will, but because we also have Karn, we're probably okay. They'd have to be able to counter both. It still feels weird having. Oh, I, I guess I should do this now. Wait a minute. No, no, I, I do it like this. That's how we do it. There we go. Okay. There we go. You don't just put it on the top. I, I also can't put it on the top and then shuffle. It, it's weird. It's weird. Yay. Almost messed myself up hard there. Okay. So, Dank is keeping at six. All right, let's go. Uh, how about turn one, Emerald? Emerald <laughs> slash. <laughs> See if you get it. Please tell me you get that. Let's look at the list first. I would like to make sure since it's open, there's no days. There wouldn't be any days, I wouldn't think. No, no soft counters, not even spell pierce, if I'm seeing this correctly. Let me take a look again. Sorry, I just, I need to make sure. I need to make absolutely, positively sure. All right, do this first. Because this will determine what land I play next. I don't get the reference. Sorry. JoJo's. Bizarre adventure. That's all. Also, Dank... No, no, no. Dank's not Italian. That's right. Who, who is it that's in the league that's Italian? 
somebody in the in the league is Italian, and part five takes place in Italy, so, you know, as you do. Alright, so if that got countered, we'd be going for Karn here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, let's go, let's go. Oh. oh, who is it? Somebody, who is it in the league? Well, anyway, Rukulin, if you're watching, I know you've seen JoJo's at least a bit, so maybe you appreciate that, maybe. Steph, if you're watching, shouts to you. Someone who's made her entire online persona basically about Kakuin and... and G-A-R-O-U. Garu? I'm not sure how to say that. Oh boy! Okay. Let's go. See what we got. It's too late for force. Where's that Graph Digger's cage you don't have? Ugh. All right. EOT. Boop. Make blue. <laughs> Why not? I, I, I have a chance to make the fabled purple mana. Uh. All right, cool. What you got there? What you got there? Spirit. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. It's neat. Neat token. Uh, okay, so. Trigger. They have a, uh, theoretically, they could respond. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's see. Discard from the top, discard from the deck. Detutor, mental misstep, preordain, Bayou, Oko, no Joko, preordain. Well, this could take a bit. Uh, how's your day, folks? I'm fine. Stomach's doing flips, but I think that's my own fault. I think I've just had too much coffee today. I don't know that there is such a thing, but I, I need to focus, because invariably I will accidentally go past it if I if I don't pay attention. This is so much better in paper. This is so much better in paper doing it. It's a matter of one, two, three, all right. Let's see, come on, come on. Rip the, the chat log here. All right, we know we're looking for either Blight Steel. It's going to be Blight Steel. We're just hoping we can find Dragon Breath first. Come on, there's only 17 left. All right, well there go both halves of the Time Machine. Seriously, where are you? Either of you, show up. Jeez. And the bottom card is Emrakul, so I won't be able to trigger this again. I get one shot. And they have Hercules Recall. Did I? I didn't pass it, did I? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> The literal bottom three cards of my deck were all the pieces. <laughs> I wish I had recall in hand. <laughs> I would be a mess now. And I know the bottom card. Alright, so we'll draw for turn. Jeez. Uh, what? What are we doing? What are we doing, folks? What are we even doing? Um, guess we'll play a land. Go to combat? Hiya! <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> GG. It's 
Let's see. Wait, reveal. <laughs> Lol. <coughs> okay, well, that happened. That happened. Uh, let's see, game three. Uh, let's see. Alright, so, scoop deck. I just need you to not have Dragon Breath on top of Plague Steel. True. Uh, one, two chance there. Because I already knew the bottom card, so it couldn't have been Emrakul, so because of that, I, 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 knew, I knew how that was gonna go. Uh, it's actually slightly better than one and two, because I could have, um, if I, if I hit Blightsteel and I drew into, or found a way to tutor into, Dragon Breath would be good. Yep. I'm with you there. Let's go to game three. Alright. Scoop all cards to deck. Oh, wait a minute. That kept the sideboard stuff in. Play another. All right, since I said no winner earlier when Dank won, I should say no winner now when I keep existing deck. All right, so just to keep it fair. All right, so then scoop deck plus sideboard. Okay. All right, there we go. We're back to where we were. We're back, baby. So Chalice still comes in, but Energy Flux is now too slow. Like, it's definitely too slow at this point. Actually, let, let's let's work on this bit. So, Flusterstorm comes in. We still bring in Veil. Veil's okay. You know, Damping Sphere on the draw is probably better than... I think there's a case I should have done Damping Sphere instead of Energy Flux there. Energy Flux is like a hard lockout. Damping Sphere they can play through because of Hercules Recall. Um, but the difference between two and three mana on the draw is, is pretty huge, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, and Null Rod is going to lock me out of being able to win on the Time Vault combo. But I might be able to Assassin's Trophy my own, to use Assassin's Trophy on my own to get back in business there. Do I bring in Energy Flux to, you know what? No. I have too many, tu if I'm taking out Tutors and Cantrips, and I'm bringing in Null Rod and Energy Flux, it might behoove me to take out the Time Machine combo. That's a Time Vault and Manifold, excuse me, Manifold Key. Imperial Seal is a fine card. It's banned in Legacy and Restricted in Vintage for a reason. But, unfortunately, it's, it's just the worst uh, tutor in the deck. Sorcery Speed puts it on top of your deck. Holy crap. Just, just let it go. Zero. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. This is, this is dumb. Alright, well, untap stuck, so let me reload it real quick. I'm sorry. It wasn't letting me let go of that. Alright, let's try this again, folks. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Uh, channel is still fine. I'll take the play. Good, good. I, I would hope so. Dig through time is slow, but in this matchup, I think I still need it. It's instant speed, at least. And we will fill the yard. Even just an oath trigger will fill the yard. Gush is still kind of... Uh, well, maybe I, I have it in on the draw? Let, let's keep it out for a second, see if we can find the room. Mental misstep has to stay in. Manifold Key, Time Vault. This hurts. This hurts, folks. Uh, but since they don't have Graph Digger's Cage, there is no other... I mean, I don't have to worry about having to win on the Time Machine plan. And I still have Oko. Oh, you know what? I could use Oko on, on stuff. I could use Oko on my own Null Ride. We'll keep them in for a sec. But that means I'm going to have to take out more preordains in a matchup where I really would not like to do that. Did I not? I missed Imperial Seal again. 
Okay. Library's weird, but it's still land, so... Uh, library's better on the draw, generally speaking, because you can play it, and then you have seven cards, and then you can start going off there. And it's just so hard to beat a deck that's gotten library on. Um... Now I, I have to start dipping into Preordains. Or the Time Machine. So let's, let's go back to doing this, uh, because... This, this client hates me sometimes. <laughs> it's okay. It is what it is. Flusterstorm. Um. Hmm. Damping Sphere. Chalice on zero. Even on the draw, it's still fine, because it, it'll keep them from using Paradoxical Outcome. They won't be able to replay them, you see. Uh, energy flux. This I could just go hard in on this, but I still need to get four cards out. So I think I'm going to take out the time machine and two preordains. It's going to make Tinker a little bit less good too, but we still have enough Moxen, and we're bringing in extra artifacts. So I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay, but I can't take out Force of Will, especially not on the draw. I get an extra card, so I'm going to be up on them. Alright, here goes. Here goes. Oh, yeah. Pass them first. Alright, come on. Alright, whale? Whale? <laughs> uh, everything but mana. I could do Chalice, uh, Mox Ruby, Chalice on zero, and then just pray. I, I even have a force to hold me, hold me open, but no, let's not. Mole, checking first. All right. Ah! <laughs> no! The odds were not in favor of that happening, though, so that's fair. That's fair. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mulligan, there we go. Now it takes it a minute, so, uh, almost a literal minute. I'll keep this. Oh, no, they're keeping it seven. Ah, uh, may I, will I regret that? I mean, it had a chalice on zero, but it had a chalice on zero. <gasps> oh, we can go channel blight steel. We can go land, black lotus, null rod, channel blight steel. Oh, this is silly good. This is so silly good. Guess we put the fetch land back. Oh wait, 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 wait! Don't, don't. That's right, Jay. You can't, you can't do that now. Oh man, but we're just gonna lose on turn one. So I don't know. I don't know about this. All right. Keep. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Probe. Right? Nope, eh, there it is. Reveal all once. Aha. You better hold up that force of will. You better hold up that force of will. I dare you. Well, now I regret not using the, uh, or not keeping the fetch land, because now I don't have black mana up. But, but, it's all right. It's all right. I, I could have used the black mana here for the uh, the vampiric tutor. The reason I did that, it's it's not right. It was a wrong decision. I should have kept the fetch land. But um, the difference between nineteen and twenty can matter. May you keep it revealed? You know it. Um, yeah. The difference between nineteen and twenty is. A prowess activation from Monastery Mentor, potentially, so it, it, it matters sometimes for that. I mean, they have to know. So because of that revelation there, I'm gonna go probably, I still have to jam the Null Rod first, I think. There's a lot going on in this hand. 
Yeah, Dank, if I'm if I'm slow on my talking, that's because I'm or if I'm slow in responding to you, that's because I'm talking. Sorry. Sorry. Wait. Sadly, we're out of Shinji juice. We're out of uh oh, we're out of coffee. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Pearl, sapphire. Stop playing these crazy arts, dude. Merchant scroll. Alright. <laughs> I mean, they see the hand. They know I can't do anything. They have to go for Force of Will here. And because of that, like, it's either Force of Will or Ancestral Recall if they already have Force. I can't... So if they force the Black Lotus, I'm actually in a worse spot. Uh, because if I... If they force Black Lotus, then I can't cast any of the spells in my hand. If they force Channel or Null Rod, I'll still get one of those. The risk to that, though, is that if I just top deck a land, then they're in trouble. They could also get Paradoxical Outcome, but again, Force has to be the priority here, unless they think they can go off on the next turn. Which, to be fair, maybe. Maybe they can. There's no, there's no way that they don't have Force of Will. Like, okay, this is not a matchup where you can afford to not have Force of Will in here. Uh, it starts out as being a four Force of Will deck, and this is Oath. So they absolutely have to have it in every matchup, as many copies as the deck will allow. They also get to see one of the deck's alternate win conditions right here, right now. So, yeah, we're, we're in a bit of a pickle, folks. We're in a pickle. They also can see that I cannot go for Force of Will. I mean, I, I could, but I don't have another blue card. So, even if I top-decked a Black Source here to use, Vampir to use with Vampiric Tutor. You know, there is another way I could try this. I could try to go Black Lotus, make Black Black Black, Null Rod, Vampiric Tutor, play the Trop, and then try to get Channel next turn. Because they have to counter the the uh, the null rod if they would like to try to go off other than through like a slow snapcaster mentor beats plan, which they can. But I like the idea of null rod, a single card shutting down a third of their deck. That seems pretty good. Uh, if you're gonna be a sec, I'm, I may actually run out for a minute. I think we're okay though. I think we'll make it. Get our stretches in, I guess. Get our stretches in. Oh, oh, swole folk. Other way, other way. Oh, way too far. <laughs> All right. About to where I can touch. Yep, I can use my. Well, it's not quite my elbow, but I can touch my ear with this part right here. So that's that's kind of neat. <laughs> well, actually turn my head, it's not that hard. Yeah, there we go. We're good. Um, you, you have a decision. A decision. Oh, Hercules Recall. That's right, that's in the deck. Uh, and Hercules Recall is able to deal with Null Rod and Blightsteel Colossus. So this is interesting. My turn. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, and there's Oath. Alright, so, Trop, Black Lotus, Null Rod, Oath. Oath is going to go and get Imrakul, which is not an artifact. Alright, let's see if they counter this. No response? Okay.
Wait, I can see the rest of the hand. Should I say black, black, black? They know about the vamp, so it might change their decision if I do that. Ooh, hello. We'll do this. Alright, no response. Alright, there's Oath. And I can later on, once I have a, a creature, I can use Vamp to try to put Dragon Breath on top so that I definitely get Dragon Breath Emrakul. Chop next screen. Oh no, it's stupid. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Life, life is, life is good, folks. Life is good. All right. Well, they can't play a creature. Not that they were going to. Uh, but if we can get black mana, we can use Vamp Tutor. If we get green mana, we can use Channel. But Channel's now a little awkward with Bite Steel. Especially given that the creatures in their deck are really, really stinking impactful. Let's actually take a look at that before we draw a card. So it's Lavinia, Snapcaster, Monastery Mentor. One of those I would hate to give my opponent. Alright, so they have Recall up. Alright, let's see. We'll draw. That's a land. Not quite the land we were hoping for. So I guess I don't play it yet. Alright, what you got? What you got? What you going to do? What you going to do? They can pull the trigger any time that they feel like on that Hercules recall. But as long as I have an unknown card in hand, now if they think about it for a second, they'll realize it can't be Force of Will. I mean, it, it could, but it won't do me any good. But if it happens to be something like a Fluster Storm, it might be okay. Don't, don't dank. Don't pull the trigger yet. Whatever you do, don't, don't pull it. The, well, they might be trying to do it before I hit black mana for vamp. I, I wouldn't blame them for that, if I'm being honest. So once I do, which is one bayou, one underground sea, any of my fetch lands, granted one's on the bottom now, uh, then I'll be able to play the vamp tutor, or mox jet, mox jet actually as well. Uh, I'll be able to play the Vamp Tutor, and I'll be able to start going to town a little bit. Uh, Tinker is awkward now, because Tinker doesn't get anything. It Blight Steel's in hand. Dark <laughs> Black Lotus has already been used. So Tinker would be an awkward draw. Alright, so they're just going to... Good, they're just going to draw. I think that that's the right play. They don't have to pull the trigger just yet, and they know that if they fire off early, I can get Null Rod Blight Steel, potentially. Alright, so there's another land. So we'll draw for turn. It's Veil of Summer. I think I'm supposed to play the land now? Maybe? No, not yet. Nope, we, we keep it going. Draw, go! Draw, go! Draw, go! Draw, go! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the way this is worded, it kind of does everything, but not always exactly what you want it to do. But here, it ends up being impactful because it's target player. So now I'm, I'm a little bit safe. Alright, and they're, they're debating, they're thinking. May actually call for, a <laughs> call for a restroom break in just a sec. Again, too, too much coffee, folks. Way too much coffee. Entirely too much coffee. That's the that's the strategy. The strategy. Yeah. Hear me. Just gonna keep this here until they say it's all right. That'll give them time to think and give me time to remember. All right. I can say. 
and get some water. And we're back. So here we go. Uh, my opponent decided on their play. They're going to fetch here. All right, going to 17. Fun fact, my sister's favorite number. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. If they're only getting one... Oh, no, no, there it goes. They're doing both. They're doing both. Okay. We're, we're actually in a bit of a pickle nonetheless. Let's see what they have. We're still going to be able to counter this. Let's see if they have a counter spell. Beep! <laughs> no response. Okay. So I will draw my card first. Because... Draw a card if an opponent casts a blue or black spell this turn. And we got a fetch land. That card is too strong. Too strong. <laughs> too strong five me. Three strong five me. There we go. Alright, yep, we're good. Alright, now, however, even though the null rod is still out, uh, the gates are open. <laughs> I could have forcible blue cards still, but, <laughs> you know, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. What you got? Ponder. It's good. Ponder's fine. They don't have any more fetch lands left, so I'm a little bit less worried about this ponder. Um, that's... I was a little curious about using all of the fetch lands there. It makes sense for deck thinning, but... Uh, you know, for ponder and brainstorm specifically, you usually try to keep back a fetch land, but this is a format where both of those are restricted, so... It's not... It's not as likely to come up, but obviously it, it matters here. So, there you go. Um, yeah, whereas, you know, I play a deck in Legacy that runs four Brainstorm, four Ponder, so... You know, as you do. Uh-oh. They're digging. They're digging hard, folks. They're digging very, very hard at this point. Ah, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So there's a few things I can do, actually. I can play the channel here and force them to counter the Blightsteel, which I guess the sooner the better, right? I guess that's what I should do, right? I do know the bottom card of the deck, so I know that if I trigger Oath now, you know, somehow, it's guaranteed not to cause me to lose the game. Immediately. <laughs> but... Uh, do I bluff something here? No, I don't. It's okay. I should. It's fine. They have my deck list. They know what's up. I'm a little worried that if I keep waiting, I'm just going to give them even more time to find their force. So I can use this and get an underground C. No. <sighs> I, I guess I could get Bayou off of this one. We go get Bayou, so that way we have green, green, and we have black for vamp for later on. I guess that that's right. Boop! There we go. Fine card. Find a Bayou, and we did take out Gush, so... It's, it's not as impactful here, of course. We'll get that. And I guess we just jam it, don't we? No, 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 we don't jam it yet, do we? I could, I could, maybe, try to go, let's see, let me look at my sideboard real quick. Oh, wait, it shows my opponent if I'm looking at my sideboard, so let me do it here. Okay, in my sideboard, what do I have that's cheap enough? I can no longer get the Damping Sphere, because it, now it's in the main board. I have Blightsteel. I don't have quite enough to go get Mycosynth Lattice. That would be interesting. That would be very interesting. So here, here's what I'm thinking, folks. This is this is crazy, but hear me out. Channel, Blightsteel, that's 12. So I'd be at 7. Vamp, Karn. But the thing is, if I want to do that, I have to vamp now so that I have the mana to do that later on. Plus, this uses up two. Hmm. 
I should say thinking. I should let my opponent know I'm thinking. Because I can, I can fire off the channel here. They only have one mana to fight over it. But looking at their deck, they already started out with, let's see. Um, Flusterstorm is in the, that's uh, two Fluster in the sideboard, that's right. It's two in the side, none in the main. Well, we have enough mana, we will eventually get to Karn, so I think I fire off the channel here. And Karn can just start winning the game on his own. I can activate Null Rod, turn it into a creature, and just win that way in the meantime. Plus, it'll give me a chance to go and get something else out of my sideboard. Though, all of my answers now are in the main. Alright. Or, 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 okay. I could vamp for Flusterstorm. This is okay. This is fine. This is fine. Channel. Let's see if it works. All right, cool. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it's like the little Yu-Gi-Oh counter. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Well, all right. Should. Yep. There we go. Cool. Counter it. Oh <gasps> no! Oh no! You idiot! You idiot! You're gonna give them an activation. You're gonna give them an activation. Oh, they're gonna get it. It's okay. It's done. What's done is done. Oh, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. I have a Vamp Tutor in hand. I can use it to go and get uh, Assassin's Trophy. Oh, you idiot, Jay. Oh, you idiot. <sighs> Why? Why did you do that? How did you not remember that? I wish I could say that was intentional. Unfortunately, I have to be honest. I can't. Uh, that was unintentional. I have oath. Now, my opponent is probably not in great shape here, nonetheless. There's a 1 in 3 chance they hit Mentor, but even if they do, Null Rod won't let them use the mana off of these, so it's possible I could still get by. And once it's done, I can't take it back. Maybe like in a casual game, and I do give my opponent take backsies, that is a thing I do all the time. Okay, this is going so quickly, I... Oh, we have to look through here to find out. My internet's slow, so sorry about that. Things we... Oh, Monastery... Oh, no. That's the exact one we really didn't want them to find. We really, really did not want them to find that. But, but, if they start making tokens, I'll get a trigger on my turn. And then I can use Vamp Tutor... Oh my goodness, I could use Vamp Tutor to uh, put Dragon Breath on top. Okay. Uh, where's Time Walk? Time Walk is not in here, right? I admit, oh wait, Ancestral Recall. Time Walk, okay, yeah it is, it is. It's one of the fancy, it's one of the new arts, so we don't have to worry about a Mentor Kill this turn. They can make all of the tokens, but they cannot kill us this turn. Okay, please, make one token. Make one token. I dare you. I dare you make one token for me. Cast literally anything. Please. Please believe me. <laughs> please believe me. All right, do they have uh, Yogg Moss Will? I don't think they have Yogg Will in here. Yep, they do. They have one Yogg Will. That's right. So, they're not out of the, well, I'm not out of the woods just yet. If they have a way that they can go and get their Yogg Will, and they can start casting stuff from their yard. Like, the, the, they can cast Moxen and whatnot, and that'll make tokens, and that's fine, but they won't be able to use the Moxen. Um, and they also don't have the mana for Yogg Will Hercules Recall. So, because of that, I think we're in okay shape. Even so, even with all of my stupid misplays, I think we're okay. I think we might just get out of the woods here. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Okay, no, in all seriousness, the correct play there should have been 
uh, Vamp Tutor at end of turn, get Karn. Alright, they're gonna go Yogwell. Okay, <gasps> they made a token. Alright, they made a token. We're good. And Yogwell should have gotten Karn. Karn should have gotten Mycosynth Lattice, and then I would Lattice Lock my opponent. That's what I should have done. Um, but I didn't. So, here we are. And once I Lattice Lock my opponent, I can just attack with Null Rod and just win that way. So, I had this game in the bag, I just didn't do it. Because, you know, as you do. <laughs> it's okay, I... <sighs> if we pull out of this, then we, we are, we are number one. Um, however, it's actually looking kind of bad for us now, to be honest. And the reason it's looking kind of bad is that they're making so many tokens and getting so many cards out of the yard, an Imrakul swing won't actually get the job done anymore. Aside from Mox Ruby and Black Lotus, I don't have anything that'll make red mana in the deck. And so, giving this thing Fire Breathing with Dragon Breath isn't going to happen, unfortunately. They're making so many cards... They're, yeah, they're making, yeah, entirely enough cards, they're just going to win on the next turn. Oh boy. Oh, Conceal Age. Reveal all once. There we go. Alright, how do we win from here? How do we win from here, folks? Um... How do we win from here? It had to be Monastery Mentor. Well, to be fair, if I got the 1 in 2 luck, I guess they get the 1 in 3 luck off Mentor. So, it happens. Alright. Now what are they casting? <laughs> There's gotta be a Paradox of Alchem in the yard, right? Yes, there's there's quite a few actually. There's quite a few paradoxical outcomes. <laughs> no! No! You were the chosen one! <gasps> Wait a minute, no, we we can still win! They don't have anything with flying. There's nothing in their deck with flying, and they can't attack this turn. Oh wait, no, no, they can! They can! Ah, oh. that's right, because they have the the academy that makes enough mana. Big oof on my part. Good games. I should have used vamp. To get, should have used to vamp to get Karn to get Lattice. Ugh, that wouldn't have triggered Oath, and it would have shut down their lands. Oh well, oh well. This, folks, is why you play the same deck over and over and over and over and over and over again. You learn that stuff. You know, learn from my mistakes. I, I made a mistake there, and we'd be in much better shape if I had not. I'd be in much better shape if I had not. Yeah, ah, uh, I don't I don't even know how I missed that. I, I guess I was so hell-bent on seeing Channel Blightsteel that I missed my own Oath, and Oath got me. Yeah, Oath is a symmetrical effect, folks. As often as this deck breaks that rule, it is a symmetrical effect. You played great. Alright, yeah, so... Ah, there is an alternate reality where I do see that. I use Karn, get Lattice. I actually don't even have to get Lattice, but yeah, we get Lattice. And then we animate Null Rod and just swing at our opponent. Well, yeah, no, if I have Channel, if I'm going Channel Karn, I'm getting Lattice. And then we just animate Null Rod a bunch and swing at them for two every turn until we got him. Oh no! Oh no! It's okay. It's okay. Uh, oh, did it log me out? What happened? What happened there? Hello. No, 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 no. Oh, right, there we go. Oh, okay. Citadel, Pyroblast, Vamp, Opal, Tinker. Ah. 
The veil almost got me. I see. Nice. I got the luck on Oath earlier, so it's only fair that it happened to you too. This is... This is one I'll learn from. One from which I'll learn. Man. Oh, I'm gonna be beating myself up about that all day. Oh, it, it happens. Mistakes happen. Um, I, I had to hope that they didn't have it, and since they, the Moxen weren't gonna give them mana, and they only had three, I, literally it had to be Telerian Academy in order to get them out of that. Um, they didn't even have to. They could have just Telerian Academy Time Walk, uh, and then had anything. Just play the Mox Opal from hand. If I did not have Will in my hand, that Colossus would have been scary. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. No kidding. I looked that up. Ooh, hello. Before you played it. <laughs> I guess I jinxed, my, jinxed myself a little bit. Oh well, it happens. Man. I hope to play against you later on. Oy, oy, oy. Jeez, jeez. That is, because I need an extra mana for vamp plus will to fairy. I hope it is well. I will, I will know for next time. This is generally not a very favored match for Oath, but oh, in three leagues, this is our first time. Yes, somehow. Go figure. Go figure. Four leagues. Yep. Because two on infect and one on time walks. <laughs> Which I should bring back, actually. Now that Luris is a card, I should bring back time walks. <laughs> no. Yes, actually. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, later, my friend. Oh, I, I, I misplayed. But you know, you know, one of the things about not giving yourself like this is a competitive league. I, I, I give people uh, take backsies here anyway. You've seen me do that on camera. I give take backsies at tap start. I've given take backsies at competitive REL, uh, and it's gotten me in trouble before. But I, I don't ask for that for myself, because now I will know. That will not happen again, I think, I hope, because this has this is stuck with me. When you, when you have one that goes that badly, and you lose because of it, you remember. Uh, also one of the joys of playing the same deck over and over and over and over and over again uh, you get out you get to build up those experiences you know if I play infect and have have an oopsie like that <laughs> that I remember all right well, that's it take care magic community and I will see you all later bye bye <laughs>